What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys two gameplays. Both of them are ranked uh, S and Ds, one on Solar, one on Recovery, bringing you guys the best rounds from both in one little video here. Again, I still have no game sound, so keep that in mind. I'm planning on getting my headset slash mix amp fixed or repaired within the next couple weeks. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, and we're already off to a great start, bringing you guys an extra video this week. Um, simply because my boss let me off six hours early today, which is tomorrow for, well, you're going to be seeing this tomorrow for me, but anyway, um, so I, I got home, played a couple hours, got these gameplays, and now I'm making this video for you guys, so yay, um, real quick, one thing I wanted to go over before I went into the main topic, a lot of you have been, um, asking about donating and everything, and some of you... Uh, weren't necessarily happy when I said I'm not gonna do donations right now and um, you know so I'm I, I've been encouraged by other people as well so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys donate if you really want to but please 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 know that I am not 100% certain still that if I can continue YouTube I'm going to try my best but it's not a 100% guarantee yet so if you want to wait which I, I personally encourage you to do just wait a few months here, let me get things more settled, and I'll see if I can get something more permanent set up, start putting out a lot more videos, things like that. But for those of you who really want to, my PayPal um, email is mrnonamecod at gmail.com, that'll be in the description below. And for those of you who don't know, you just go to PayPal, send to receive, type in my email, or um, you go to family and friends and then type in my email, and then you can transfer me any money you want to um any bit helps i won't be using it as blow money or anything like that it'll be for specifically youtube or gaming equipment or for um school or living expenses you know it's going to be used for something that i really need or used directly to put into something that you guys are going to see so that's what i'll be using it for got that out of the way so topic today is how to warm up properly for you competitive players um, this was a requested I, I mentioned it in the last video and some of you requested it in the comments so basically there's two main aspects to warming up but before I even get into that let me mention that while warm-up will make you better like it, your first few games will be better because of it and your mindset might be better throughout the entire day because of it you need to be able to play without even warming up. For example, some of these LAN events and things, you'll see some of these pro players, something comes up, and they don't get to practice warm up or anything. They go in cold, and they still are able to perform. So that is something that you need to be able to get to. And the way they basically do that is going to be the first thing that I'm going to talk about, which is the mental aspects, because it requires... It doesn't require a long length of time or anything. It's not like you playing a warm-up game or anything. So... The mental stuff. First thing is, you need to have a clear head when you go into it. Don't be thinking about other things that are stressing you out. Um, don't be thinking about school or work or whatever, because those things are just going to mess with you. You need to completely clear your head. And then the next thing, um, there's basically, you could do all three of these next things, or you could just do one. I usually just did one. Um, first thing is visualizing a perfect match or a perfect um, S&D route or something that you've done. You know, just picture yourself going through the motions and, um, you know, getting the kills, getting the ace, whatever it is, and that's going to really get you in the mindset for it. Um, it'll also kind of get your, it might even get your adrenaline going a little bit if you're really a visual person and things, and it can just really start to get you focused. Also, you could watch a competitive montage. This is something that I usually did because it really got me pumped up because competitive montages still make me want to go grab the controller and just hop on and start playing for like eight hours a day again. Um, competitive montages can really get you in the mindset as well, so just kind of keep that in mind. And then also, this is something that you'll see a lot of the pros do at LAN events. They will be listening to some music um, before they start a match. And part of it is to distract themselves, but it's also to get them focused. So you don't want like a slow song or anything. You want something pretty fast-paced. You guys know, like... Um, pop or metal or rock or something like that and i just pick a couple songs or something and you know just kind of play those as you're warming up or right before you have to do your match or whatever and just kind of you know get in the mindset of everything 
So the next part is going to be, of course, the physical aspect to warming up. And there's several things you can do here. So first thing that I've got to mention is if your house or wherever you're playing is cold, that's a problem. You need to find a way to get warm. Um, you know, rub your hands together, turn on the heater, get, grab a jacket, something. Because when you are cold, your reflexes and everything are just slowed down and it's just, it's completely different. So you need to try and be, you know, comfortably warm. Um, it will make a huge difference. Second thing is when you first Switch grab your controller, before you even turn on your Xbox, personally, this is what I did, especially Search for games like um, Black Ops 2 when the FAL was still allowed where, you know, your trigger finger really mattered, I would just rapidly press the buttons, I can't even speak, specifically um, the, the trigger finger, I would just rapidly press it to kind of get my trigger finger warmed up and things like that. Um, you know, it'll get the blood flowing to your hands and it can make a little bit of a difference going into it. All right, so now you're setting up your warm-up game and there's two ways you can do this. One is with your team and one is with bots. Um, Personally, I would say do it with your team because bots are completely different because bots are number one, they, they just have a different like way of, th their program makes them behave differently than normal players in all honesty. And on top of that, there is no lag with bots and there is lag in the online settings. So, you know, it, it's just better to do it with your teammates if at all possible. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to set up a free for all game, unlimited um, score and time. Um, I would put on radar, but you don't have to. That's just an option. And then the next two things are pretty important. I would double the health and put on headshots only. And this will make it a much, it'll make it much more of a challenge. Um, basically, you're going to have to have like perfect aim. And by doing this and having to concentrate on that aspect, your shot is going to get on point really, really fast. And it's just going to be really really good while you're doing this I would switch through any of the weapons that you're gonna be using um, if you are gonna be using a sniper frequently you may want to not have the double health or headshots you know maybe do a, a separate game real quick with snipers but um, any submachine guns LMGs shotguns um, assault rifles anything you know you can just cycle through those as you're playing and just make sure you're completely warm and you got the feel for all the weapons and everything um, also, if you are using any different variations on your setups for the classes, you know, you might want to cycle through that. So if on one class you have a BAL with red dot but no quick draw, and then another one with quick draw but no red dot, you know, go between those, see which one you're more comfortable with today. And by the end of your warm-up game, I would go for maybe 5-10 minutes, and then you should be completely warm. You should be ready to go and play your first match. So I hope that helped. Um, I'm going to go over a couple of quick channel updates real quick for those of you who are interested. For those of you who aren't, I'll see you next time. But real quick, so I, I am planning on branching out on my YouTube channel because I'm no longer a competitive player. However, for now, I want to stick to Call of Duty videos. Um, I'm going to do some competitive tips and tricks and things because there really is still a lot of information that I know that I can share with you guys um, and just kind of help you guys out with. So I'm going to do that for a while. I'm also going to do a couple more um, funny Call of Duty videos. However, I do want to branch out and specifically I'm thinking along the lines of things like Gary's Mod, which would be like Prop Hunt um, and Hide and Seek. You know, you guys have seen it when you see c Manners play it and everything. Um, League of Legends, Outlast, um, just some zombie uh, type games, survival type things, you know, things like that. Um, you guys can suggest games to me because this is going to be probably a month or two down the road before I can really do that because I've got to get several things set up and I have to have the money to buy those games. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But um, just suggest games to me. Like I said, for now, sticking to Call of Duty, but I will be branching out. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.